hello and welcome back to the channel so as you all know there is a lot of misinformation that is flying around out here a whole lot of it uh, to the point where folk are getting confused because you're looking for things you're researching this and researching that and you find all of these bits of information that can be confusing if you don't read between the lines so I thought I would do a video on this because uh, you all know what we believe, what we teach, and how we view this world. I view this world through the lens of the Most High and through the lens of biblical prophecy. So we are always looking for things, indicators of what to look out for, what to do, and what not to do. So um, I titled this video, uh, When Demons Try to Teach You How to Eat Healthy for a Reason. Because you have to be very, very, very careful um, of what you consume, right? You got people out here calling stuff food that was never meant to be food. It was never meant to be food. Hold on one second, everyone. Come on in. Come on in. There are things that were never meant to be food. Um, so I'll be with you all in one moment. Uh, so anyway, uh, my apologies for that. I had to answer a quick question. But uh, yeah, there are some folk out here uh, trying to teach folk how to eat healthy. And you have to look at the agenda. You have to look at the mindset. You have to look at the goal, right? You have to look at the propaganda. Look at all of it, right? There are literally some demons out here trying to teach folk how to eat healthy. One thing that I want to look at is... The thing that jumps out at me first and foremost, above all things, is that pyramid. Okay. Uh, they call it the health pyramid, right? You know, in school, how they show you this thing where you're supposed to eat this at the top and then that and that and this and this and that and that. They got all of this stuff that you're supposed to eat, right? And it's supposed to be healthy for you. That that food pyramid. It's a trip that they even call it a food pyramid, right? And <laughs> it's, it's, it's laughable, but at the same time, it's not laughable. And so they have food pyramids that um, are for children. Then they have some that are just, you know, for everybody, period, right? And I say to myself, when you look at that food pyramid, it is, it is, uh, they try to pretend like there's some, some healthy things in there. As a matter of fact, let me bring some up for you on the screen. I'm going to bring some of these food pyramids up for you on the screen so you can get exactly what I'm talking about, right? Because some of them got the nerve to have some bacon sitting up there, y'all. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. Some of them got the nerve to have some bacon sitting up on the food pyramid. Mm, mm, mm. So let me get to this. Okay, one moment here. I want to make sure I'm pulling up the right thing before we get into this. I want to show this one first. Hold on one second. So, yeah, some demons out here, y'all, teaching folk about eating healthy. And I say to myself... Mm, mm, mm. So I'm going to show this one first. What is that? What, what, what's that, y'all? What's that right there? In the bottom right of the pyramid. What is that? What is that? Hmm. What is that? Then I'm even looking at the cheese right there. Okay. All right. All right. It's going over here. And so um, I'm looking at these food pyramids and they got stuff on here for baby now, babies. Now, of course, they will mix some, you know, stuff that is good in there, right? You can't just put all bad stuff in there because then it would be too obvious, right? Okay, it would be too obvious. But it's very clear to me that 
everybody is not the same. I see some processed food in this one right here, right? Then I see some white flour right there. See all kinds of things. I see some more cheese right there. Uh-huh. Now, I want to, there's something very specific that I want to cover in here um, in this video. Something that we heard that just kind of tripped us out. So it's not really just about the food pyramid. Because like I said, they will throw some good things in there too. Um, just to kind of throw you off, right? So you can't say, well, what's wrong with the food pyramid, right? Okay, you will see some things in there that may be good for you. But then you'll see other things that are absolutely not good for you. So what am I talking about today? So my husband and I were looking at a video. Um, this doctor on YouTube was running his mouth about some stuff. So we were curious to see what he was talking about. Curious to know what he's talking about. And he was talking about different foods that are healthy for various parts of your body, right? And as we sat up here and we listened to this man talk, I said, man, most people will look at him and say, oh, he seems like such a nice fella. He seems like a nice guy. But this man sat up here and gave you a whole list of stuff that you should keep away from. Things that um, he says are bad for your kidneys. He named kiwi. He named beets. Yes, beets, y'all. Spinach was on the list. And quite a few other things. He even said vitamin C and just a number of different things that you should keep away from. But let me tell y'all something that he said is good for you. This is why I said there's some demons out here trying to teach people how to eat healthy. I'll tell y'all what he said you should eat to keep you healthy. This dude said that you should eat more cheese. I said, mm, mm, mm. So you mean to tell me that it's better for a person to eat cheese than it is for them to eat some kiwi or some spinach or some beets? Are you out of your cotton picking mind? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> when I said, mm, mm, mm. I said to myself, it's some people that will believe this man. I remember years ago, there was a young woman who, um, a black young woman who said that uh, she had sugar diabetes. And she told us that her doctor said she should drink more pop and that she should eat more sugar. And I told that young lady, I said, wait a minute, your doctor is trying to kill you. If he's telling you to drink more pop and eat more sugar, I said, that man is trying to kill you. You don't need to be drinking more pop if you have sugar diabetes. That's why I say there's some demons out here trying to teach people how to eat healthy. Now, some things are just obvious, right? Some things are just obvious. So when I hear somebody telling you, you should consume more cheese and that you should keep away from something like beets, then that to me, that's a demon talking through that person. But then they prop up that food pyramid like it's something that we are supposed to gravitate towards. Like it's something that we're supposed to hold on for dear life. This is how you keep yourself healthy by using the American food pyramid. You ain't nothing but a demon. Mm, mm, mm. We got to be careful out here, family. Some things are just obvious. I know. I, I think the average person knows that beets are good for you. Beets are good for you. But if somebody's sitting up telling you to lay off of beets and eat more cheese, you better run as fast as you can from that person. Anytime I see a strip of bacon sitting up there as a healthy choice on the food pyramid, we, you know you're dealing with a demon then. These are people who have an agenda, and that agenda is to wipe you out and make you as sick as a dog. Somebody sitting up telling you that pork, bacon, 
and all this other garbage is better for you, cheese. They're telling you all of this stuff is good for you. But kiwis, uh uh-uh. Okay, y'all. I'm coming down off of my soapbox now. This is just something that just, I just wanted to talk about this because, you know, sometimes when you hear people say things, you just, you say to yourself, I done heard it all. I done heard it all. But anyway, be careful. Do your own research. And in your research, I would suggest you just open up the pages of the Bible because sometimes you come to these people who have an agenda. I don't care how nice they seem or whatever. I don't care what PhD they have behind their name, what university they went to. If they sitting up telling you cheese is better for you or good for you, but spinach isn't, kiwi isn't, run as fast as you can. I'm done, family. Chop it up in the comment section. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.